We talked before about what a ban like this would mean given Roe v. Wade, which is why we wanted to take a moment to clearly lay out what that historic ruling did and did not actually guarantee when it comes to an abortion. So let's verify. The 1973 Supreme Court ruling did not give unrestricted access to abortion. It was about viability. Viability being when a fetus can live independently outside the womb. Roe v. Wade basically said the Constitution preserves a woman's right to abortion up until that point of viability, which was determined to be between 23 and 25 weeks. The youngest fetus ever to survive outside the womb holds the Guinness World Record at 21 weeks. Now we have this 15 week ban, which was modeled after a similar ban in Mississippi, which the US Supreme Court is expected to rule on this spring. But even if the high court were to uphold that ban, that's not the end of the story here in Florida. Why? The Florida Constitution. And the right to abortion in Florida is stronger than the right to abortion in the country as a whole. The Florida Constitution protects the right to end a pregnancy better or more rigorously than the U.S. Constitution does. Stetson constitutional law professor there, Lou Varelli, explains the Florida Constitution includes a basic right to privacy, a right to freedom from government intrusion in our private lives. And if you want to challenge that, you first have to prove there is a compelling government interest. Varelli says that the Florida Supreme Court historically has not viewed protecting a fetus in the first trimester, so up to 12 weeks of pregnancy, as a compelling government interest. No one yet has argued a compelling government interest in protecting a fetus beyond that in that 12 to 23 week period. Viability is going to be at the center of those legal arguments. Our team is always here to verify your questions. You can message them to us through our Facebook or Twitter, or you can text us the number right there on your screen, 727-577-8522.